Always nice to come back to the beautiful uh, Narry Warren football ground. And I've got uh, Trent Patworth with me. How did you go today, Trent? Uh, not great. We had a win, but had seven kicked on me, so it's not ideal. Well, seven. They, how many did they kick all up? Uh, eight. So oh, it's not a good game. <laughs> yeah. It's not good. Game. It's not a good day. Why did they give me you? Why didn't they give me somebody to start? <laughs> nah, I don't know, but I'm just like, joking. Mate. You got to own it sometimes, you know. But no, it was all right. Oh, look, that happens though. As a defender, what what can you do about it? Yeah. You know, like you've won the game, you've played your part, I suppose, to a certain extent. You you were obviously on the best forward. So how many did he? he, he as you said, he kicked seven on you. Yeah, yeah, kick seven. Who was it? Uh, Justin Van Noonan. So oh, well, pretty, he's a decent player. Pretty handy player, but um, yeah, few few ones he pulled out his bum, but you know you get that. And it was, Did you hear that, Justin? He's had a crack at you, mate, and you kick seven on him. <laughs> yeah, I got to give it back because he's kicked seven on me. So what about the team though? You must be happy. I mean, you won it pretty easy in the end. Yeah, yeah, no, it was good. I feel like it was just a good team effort. Like it was tough conditions out there. It was pretty gusty, um, but yeah, it was, it was just good. Now I've got to ask the bigger ground, smaller ground question because I'm, I reckon we'll be asking that question the whole season until everybody's played on those grounds. How do you find the, the transition? Yeah, well, obviously we're, we're uh, more suited to the bigger grounds but coming from the East League. Um, it's just a bit different. Like um, we went, when we went up to Alinda and played up there, like they were just, it's a lot more contested and it's the same. You see the results from like Wandon beat Berwick at home. So yeah. it's completely different and you just got to adjust, I guess, as, as you go to the different grounds. What do you prefer? Do you have a preference? Do you, I mean, you're, you're a defender, so you'd be used to being hard and tough at the ball and whacking guys. So I suppose it wouldn't bother you too much. Right? Yeah, um, probably on the smaller grounds, you get a bit more pressure coming as of the delivery, but yeah, not, not too too fussed about it. It's, um, Does it come in quicker? Yeah, so it's it's usually just one kick out of the centre to full forward pretty much. Um, but out here it's usually two or you get the bigger grounds and it's a couple more. So Perfect. But, uh, uh, terrible for, for uh, I suppose now when I think about it because um, on a bigger ground, you get a chance as a as a backman to maybe have a bit of a rest on the resting uh, resting um, uh, ruckman. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's always nice when the the big fella comes down and he's been running around in the ruck and you can sort of run off, but it doesn't happen too often. Makes you look good. Yeah, yeah. Feel good, but yeah. How about how about at this stage of the season? How is, is the club? How is the club travelling? You must be happy at this stage. Yeah, no, we're going well. Um, it was sort of a bit unknown at the start of the season. We we lost a few. And we're quite young, so it's good to be, I think we're sitting close to top or on top, so it's a bit of a surprise, but it's always good. Well, it's the unknown, isn't it, Nasser said? No one's going to know, I suppose, until everybody's played everybody once. And I really don't think you're going to know until you've played everybody twice and then the finals will sort the rest out. Yeah, absolutely. Like It'll be probably be a different result. Like, hopefully it's not a different result, but it'll be a lot closer when we when we travel up there to the smaller grounds. Fantastic uh, game today. I'm sure you played a lot better than you said, so well done. Thanks for your time. Uh, thank you. Jake Richardson is with me from the uh, Narrow Warren Football Club. A big win today over Wandon. Was it as easy as the score looked? Because I know it's never never as easy as the score looks. Probably not as easy in the first half. It was a lot, lot more contested footy. And then we sort of kicked away in the third quarter, which helped. I think it was a 10-goal uh, third quarter. So um, quite hotly contested. Wandon played quite well up to half-time. And then we sort of kicked away a bit. Do you just think in the end... Oh, yeah, you just said they played well up to half time and I was watching the scores that they ran out of legs basically on a bigger ground? Uh, possibly but whether we, I think our structures in the second half were a lot better we uh, moved the ball a lot better than we, we wanted to, got that switch going, handball I think in the first half we tried to kick a lot down the line and played into their hands so we sort of got our running game going in that second half. How, well, speaking about you guys, you feel like you're travelling as well as you expected? Yeah, I think we're doing uh, pretty well considering quite a young list. Um, so I think in terms of the, the list, um, Colo's obviously the oldest, followed by Scalzo. And then, then the next I was probably 25 years of age and younger. So uh, for how, how young we are, I think we're tracking along quite well. What about the whole bigger grand, smaller grand thing? Does that come into it too much with you guys? Um, it's probably interesting. We've only played once on the smaller ground, so um, at Alinda. So 
Um, you so got a win there, though. We did get a win there. Um, so I guess it'll be interesting when we go up to, to Wurri and those those grounds to, to see how we go um, with our running game and the switch on the. Obviously, it'll be a bit more congested, but it'll be interesting to see how it goes. Who played well today, Jake? Obviously, you did too. But you can tell me about your game in a sec. But who else? No, I'll leave leave me out of it. I think um, Bailey, our ruckman, uh, did well all day. Sort of got got first hands in it um, out of the ruck. Um, Mitch, Mitch Cox coming back from the VFL, kicked six or so, I think. Um, and then out of the middle, all our mids, so Trent Cody, Vossi, Dill Quirk, had another ripper game, so yeah. So it's always good to see players come back to the club where you played here today. It was a home game, but there's quite a lot of you guys that stayed back. You've got a function on and yeah. great rooms, isn't it? Yeah, now that they've been done up since last year, fantastic. Um, so hopefully for looking for a good night tonight with our reverse raffle draw. Yeah. Um, so that'd be good fun. You got, you got a ticket in for the meat tray? Uh, no meat tray, but hopefully colour tickets for the reverse raffle will win five grand or so. Uh, what do you have falafel tray these days? Do you, Pardon? Do you have falafel tray? Uh, not sure what they've got. Uh, <laughs> possibly. <laughs> or a vegetarian tray. Yeah, Who knows? Vegetarian. Uh, okay. <laughs> Maybe some carrots. That's exciting. Good on you, Jake. Thanks, Thanks for your time. Mate. No worries. Thank you. Cheers. Get your game face on.